Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring in this cute little fish. Now he is from Lost Ocean, but this is actually a um, calendar page, so he's not in the book. So I just can't tell you what the whole page looks like. Um, I don't have the book with me, but that's what it looks like. But I thought we'd just have a go at colouring a fish, because I don't think we've done any fish colouring before. I thought I'd just have a show you how I would go about colouring this one. Now we're going to see if we can make him look a bit shiny. Um, this fish can be a bit scaly and shiny. I'm going to need some nice colours for him as well. So I'm going to start off with this Indian Indian Threen Blue colour. So these are the Faber Castell Polychromos, and we're going to. I'm not going to do his fins at the minute. We're just going to do his body, and we're going to start out along the edge with a dark layer and then just gently fade it out a little bit because we want to add some of the layers in as well and do the same underneath i'm going to do his top and his bottom the same i'm aware he's got this fin on his back we're not going to color that in yet we'll tone that in with the other fins and the tail just to give it some symmetry so here he is we're just fading him in here you see i'm just bringing some of the color in and gently just layering it slightly and now I'm going to pick hmm, like this colour this is the bluish turquoise colour so we're going to go over the top of some of the blue that we did already to blend it in and then bring some more colour in towards the middle Now, there's not a lot of colour here yet. I'm going to go back over it all in a minute. Because with polychromos, I find you need to layer it up a bit to get an intense colour, which is what I'd like to have with Mr. Fish here. I'm going to grab my next colour, and I think I'm going to go for this one. This is the Helio Turquoise. And again, just grabbing, just going over where we were there before, and taking the colour towards this middle. I'm going to leave a pale area in the middle. Probably not completely white, but just really pale. Now I'm going to go back over all of those colours over again to darken them. So we're going to start again with the Indanthrin Blue colour. I just, I have no idea how to say it. And we're going to layer it down a bit heavier this time. Now I've laid out what I'm going to do, I'm more confident in being able to layer it all down. I'm going to go all around him. And basically I'm trying to get enough layers down so I can't see very much white paper through anymore. So the next colour we used was the bluish turquoise. So the same thing again, overlaying it just a little bit and bringing this colour up so it's a thicker layer. I find by layering it helps to blend them better. If you work plonker down a really thick layer to start with, it's much harder to get your layers in nice and even. There, there'll still be some sort of slight striping I always find but it looks more even if you can do it this way and our last colour was the Helio Turquoise I'm just going to go a little bit over bring it in we really want to leave a bit of a stripe I think in the middle I'm just seeing how that looks. I think that's okay. Once we've done the fins, I'll decide for sure. Now I don't know whether I could. I've got a couple of options with the fins. I could go in with some lighter blues, or I could go in with some purples, something like that. But I think I ought to. I do a contrast colour because normally I wouldn't do that, so it would be a little bit different. So I'm going to grab this um, mauve, this is 249, this is the mauve and uh, we'll just start here on this fin and I'm going to do it darker around the edge 
and then fade it towards the middle in the same way we did with the main part of the fish. So nice solid line there and here and then just fade it in a little bit by doing a gentle layer. Do the same here on this fin. Now I'm looking at his little eye and wondering if I'm going to change that slightly I think because I've coloured over the white a bit by mistake so it doesn't look as nice and pure as it could do. So I'm going to change that up. It'll give you a little idea of something you could do too. So doing exactly the same with the tail fin or tail. And now we want a slightly lighter shade of purple. And I'm going to go for this one which is the manganese violet which is quite a pretty shade. And I'm going to go over the top a bit of what we did already. And just gently bring it in towards the centre with a bit of a shine. Same here. Now the art is to try and make it make sure it looks like the white that you've left is in intentional, is intentional rather than unintentional. And if you can layer up your pencil in other areas, then you can see a contrast then it's more obvious that that's what you're intending to do. Now with the eye, I'm going to go over the eye completely in black. Uh, this is just the black colour. I want it to be really hard, pressing really hard, really black layer, because I don't want to see that black dot that was already drawn on it. Now that doesn't look too good, does it? It looks a bit scary, so I'm going to get my white this is a Sakura Jelly Roll, this is number five, you can use any size. And I'm just going to do a little line across the eye. So it's a little bit of white. And then draw a white line around the edge. Unfortunately it's gone quite grey. There he is. Okay, and now what we can do, I'm just going to scribble with this pen to get off any black, is make him look a little bit more shiny. You can do some lines around here. We do them on both sides. Again, this is looking quite great. Oh, it's picking up quite well in the camera, actually. So, and uh, maybe one here. So then he looks a little bit shiny, like he's a little, little wet fish. So there he is, that's just a little quickie for you. Um, I think that will do for today, just that little lovely fish. Now if you want to make him look a bit more gemstone-y, you can make these white bits yellow and somehow it makes him look more glassy. It's quite an interesting experiment to try out. Um, maybe I'll do it, I'll show you. Got, we've been quite early. Um, so I'm just going to grab this yellow, which is the light cadmium yellow. I'm going to do it on here. So I'm just going to, instead of this being white, it's going to turn yellow and here and here and here. And if I do it here, it's going to look a bit green. But it just makes it look, because it looks more like it's reflecting light, it looks a little bit more like a gemstone. So there he is, Mr. Shiny Fish. I hope you like him. I think he's rather cute. Um, thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.